In this video, I'll show you how to boost customer loyalty and add a recurring revenue stream to your WooCommerce store by offering a subscription on your existing products on your WooCommerce store. Let's get straight into it. Okay, so for example, this is a simple WooCommerce product. However, I've added this subscription component to it, right? Where our customers, they can either do a one-time purchase or they can subscribe and save. Here, we're actually enticing them with a 10% discount. Because instead of the $50, here they're getting it for $45 and this is billed every four weeks. And if they choose this subscribe and save option, here they're saving a 10% discount. They can just click subscribe and we can customize this button as well. And we can customize this button as well. And they will build every four weeks and get their vitamins delivered every four weeks. So if you want to add subscriptions to all your existing products in your WooCommerce store, first step is to head over to aovup.com. Go ahead and download the AOVUP subscriptions plugin. I'll leave a link in the description below. And with that being said, let's head over to our dashboard. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is navigate over to AOVUP and then we'll navigate over to subscriptions. We can go ahead and configure some of these general settings. I'll leave a link to our playlist on screen so you can go ahead and explore more videos which shows you how to customize each individual components. But we just want to focus on adding a subscription to our existing products. But so we're going to navigate over to plans. I'm already assuming you've already got products in which you want to add this subscription component to, right? So we'll click create new plans and then we'll give it a name. This is just for internal purposes. I'm just going to name my vitamins because I'm adding a subscription to our vitamins products. Right here, we can customize the subscribe and save text. So for example, we could say something like auto ship, right? Or you could say um, subscribe and save. It's totally up to you. And then here we'll just say purchase option. So this is the text that will show before they'll get an option to either subscribe or choose a one-time payment. So I'm just going to say purchase. Okay. And we've got three types. There'll be more types added in the future as well. Um, but we just want to focus on subscription here. Okay. And then we'll go ahead and add our plan. For the prefix, we can say something like delivery, right? So they can choose whether they want it um, delivered maybe every four weeks, um, every 30 days, depending on how you want to word it, right? So here we get to choose our interval. This one will be every month, or we could just say every four weeks, right? Four weeks. And then we'll give it a name. So here we could say four weeks, or we could say every month. It depends how you want to word it. And we can tempt customers into opt-in for our subscription by giving them a discount. And I'm just giving them a 10% discount here. We can add more plans as well, but I'm just gonna leave one plan for now. Here we get to choose which category we wanna add this plan to, and we wanna add it to our vitamin plan. I'm not mistaken, I think we've got an update where we'll be able to just add it to the individual products instead of the category. Okay, so let's just hit save changes. Before we save changes, let's have a look at the product in which we'll add this option to. So this is a standard um, simple product. It works with variable products as well. So I'm gonna refresh this page just to make sure Right, there's no subscription element here. And now I'm gonna go ahead and save our changes, which you just created here. All right, so now when we refresh this page, we should see our subscription component, right? And um, the user has the option. So this is that purchase option heading that we created. They can choose a one-time purchase or they can subscribe and get it for $45 and it's delivered every four weeks, right? And um, here it says register. Um, let's quickly change this text because this is from a previous video. So to change that text, all we need to do is navigate over to customization. And instead of saying register, we could just say subscribe or name it whatever you want, right? And then we'll hit save. And now let's refresh this page. Okay. When we choose to subscribe here, it just says subscribe, right? So that looks fine. Yeah. As I said, we can choose multiple plans. So I'll quickly show you how it looks when we add more than one um, options. So let's navigate back over to plans and let's select our vitamin plant here. Let's go ahead and add a new plan. This time we'll say this one's delivered every two weeks. So let's see. And the discount for this one, um, because it's more frequent, maybe we want to give a bigger discount. So, okay, maybe we'll say 15%. Okay, so let's hit save and let's refresh this page. Okay, so here we can subscribe. Well, here it says auto ship and we can save up to 15%. And then here we get to choose our delivery frequency, right? So we can say, and here we can choose our plan. So we can say four weeks in which we save 10%, or we can say every two weeks in which we'll save 15%. And then we can just subscribe and then just check out as normal. 